Never Stop Learning, week 253. We're going to take a quick look at Convert to Shape Rounded Rectangle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so with this one, I'm going to show you guys a workflow where you could create these uh, rounded rectangle uh, type of labels with some live text, and the rectangles are going to adjust to your text in real time. All right, now it's going to be something really basic, but then your creativity could go ahead and take that and make something really cool out of it. We're also going to focus on the appearance panel, so for those of you folks who don't really feel comfortable with it, you'll start seeing how you could start working with it using these live effects and the stacking order. All right, so I'm going to get started by hitting the T key on my keyboard. That's going to activate the type tool. I'm going to click once in the center of my document. And now I'm just going to type out some basic text. So I'm going to go with Adobe Grind. All right, accept that change. Increase the size. There we go. So now I just got some big basic text to work with. All right, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to hit the comma key. That's going to bring up my color panel. And the swatches just happen to come along for the ride. I'm going to go with a really dark blue and then dismiss this panel. All right, now that I got the color that I want to go with, over here in the appearance panel, I'm going to show you that we have a type object. Then we have characters. And at the bottom, we have the opacity for our entire object. What I want to do is add a light blue fill. All right, so down at the bottom, we have this option here for add new fill. I'm going to click on that once, and that's going to bring in a fill over here. Along with that, we also have a stroke with no attributes. All right, so I'm going to tuck these guys away by hitting these little triangles. I'm just going to bring those guys up. It's going to keep things a little bit more organized. All right, this fill, I want to change the color to a light blue. All right, now notice it's actually changing the fill color of the text. So what I want to do is turn this blue fill into a rounded rectangle. All right, here in the appearance panel. Now, if you don't have your appearance panel up, go into the window menu, scroll down until you find appearance, click on that once, and that's going to bring up the appearance panel for you. All right, again, with this fill highlighted, down at the bottom of the appearance panel, you want to click on Add New Effect. Then we're going to go with Convert to Shape and rounded rectangle. Clicking on that once is going to bring up your shape options. Notice over here it says shape. We could switch to a different shape if we want to, but for this tutorial, I'm going to stick to rounded rectangle. All right, for this particular workflow, I want to leave my settings set to relative over here in the options. All right, now for extra width, I'm going to go with 18 points. That's what they have by default, and it just happens to work out good right here. Now, for your particular artwork, you might want to make some adjustments in there. Over here for corner radius, currently we have nine points and that's what it's showing over here in the artwork. What I want to do is hover over this and use my scroll wheel. I'm going to add to that. Now it's a little bit too far. So I'm going to go back and 20 points is going to work out great. All right. I can see that happening in real time because I have my preview box checked. I'm going to click OK to accept those changes. Now this looks good, but the problem is that the fill is in front of my text and I can't see anything. All right, so back over here in the appearance panel. What I need to do is swap the positions of these guys. All right, so that's where the stacking order comes into play. I'm going to grab my fill, click and drag. Once I get that highlight below characters, I'm going to release. And now because we have this fill below our characters, we're able to see the characters over here in the artboard. All right, so now it's at a stroke. I'm actually going to use the exact same uh, workflow that we did for the fill. So let's jump back into the appearance panel. Over here at the top, I'm going to activate the stroke, click on this little drop down menu, and I'm going to go with that dark blue. All right, next, I want to change the size of the stroke. So I'm going to go with a 10 point stroke. And notice we're adding that stroke to our text. So we got to convert this stroke to a rounded rectangle. Make sure you have the stroke activated over here in the appearance panel. This time, instead of going to the bottom of the appearance panel, I'm going to come over here to the top where it says Effect. And because I just applied the rounded rectangle, I have access to those same settings over here at the top. I could also use the keyboard shortcut of Command-Shift-E. All right, I'm going to click on this once, and that's going to apply those same settings over here to the stroke. Notice my artwork's been updated. I'm going to zoom in on that so you get a better look at this. All right, that looks great. Now. Let's talk about the stacking order again. I'm going to grab the stroke, click and drag, bring it towards the bottom. Now I'm going to bring it below the fill and release. 
All right, now it's only showing a portion of the stroke. So it's not a full 10 point stroke anymore. It's just showing five points of that 10 point stroke. Back in the appearance panel, I'm gonna grab that stroke, bring it above the fill and release. And now we see the full 10 points of that stroke. If you want access to those live effects that we've applied, over here in the appearance panel, click on these triangles. All right, think of these kind of like as a drawer, kind of it just expands the attributes of the stroke, but we have these guys tucked away. Now, if you click on this triangle, it's gonna open the drawer, show you the rounded rectangle, click on it again, and that's gonna tuck it away. All right, now, the reason this is a handy workflow is everything is actually live. So if I make a copy of this guy, I could double click on my text, uh, Command A to select it all, and I could change this to read something else. So this time, I'm gonna go with Sebastian Bleak, Command Return to accept that change, and I have the exact same type of label. Because they're a live effect, Everything is updating for me as I make changes to my artwork. You could also save this off as a graphic style so you could use it on a future project. All right, so there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Convert to Shape Rounded Rectangle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.